Mr Speaker, in recent times under this government, our nation has been rocked by many shocking and tragic events. The stabbings at Bondi were truly horrific, where six people were murdered. Knife attacks on a bishop in Western Sydney and a man in Perth radicalised by radicalised youth, incidents reinforcing the enduring threat of extreme Islamism. 28 women killed in violent circumstances this year alone. More than 150 hardcore criminals, including murderers and sex offenders, released from immigration detention into the community by the Albanese government, with some already having re-offended. And since Hamas's barbaric terrorist attack on Israel, a 700 per cent increase in anti-Semitic incidents on our soil. <coughs> Australians are unsettled by crime on our streets, ruptures to our social cohesion and threats to our national security. The Coalition Government will provide much needed leadership in tackling knife crime. We will work with states and territories to develop uniform knife laws across all jurisdictions, laws which will give police the powers to stop and search using detector wands like Queensland Queensland's Jack's Law, and laws which will limit and restrict the sale and possession of knives to minors and dangerous individuals. Yeah. Mr Speaker, as a former police officer, the horrific scenes of beaten women and distraught children I encountered stay with me to this day, as do the memories of taking women who were shaking with fear to shelters and safe homes and helping them relocate with their children to safety. And it's why I've dedicated much of my career to protecting women and children. It's why, as Home Affairs Minister, I established the $70 million Australian Centre to Counter Child Exploitation yeah. and recommit to doubling its size, 